Hi guys, this is Vanessa. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. It's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video, but I wanted to share with you some mini shaker embellishments that I made. Scrap Passion 01, which is Betty on the YT, is hosting um, a challenge. And these are the requirements. The rules for this challenge, you must be subscribed to our YouTube channel, must be at least 18 years of age. Show a video response showing your creations on the YT and two extra entries you would get if you post your embellishments on a social media and link to her. And um, an additional two extra entries if you mail in your embellishments. The requirement was only to make three, but as I started making them, I fell in love with it and I just went crazy. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna send her, but I'm gonna share with you the ones that I made. The first one here, I used the uh, Spellbinders die, a star die, and I'm sorry for the glare, it's like, but you can see the embellishments on the inside. And I used um, a black permanent marker around the edge of the of the die and I use this glaze here so I don't know if you can see it and that gave it a little glitter effect on it and I put it also some on the back and I punched out a smaller star using glitter paper so that's the first one the second one I used a paper tray ink die of a saucer and I use a Martha Stewart bow punch and the foil paper let's see here if you could see the paper the paper is slightly well it's embossed but it I can't okay there it is so now you can see it a little better I have some little beads on the inside oh sorry and I made it into a paper clip and that's the back. This one I use a Spellbinders heart die and I had some paper that I purchased at my local scrapbooking store and it's gold paper. This is actually a tablecloth runner that I purchased from the dollar store here and I made it into a bowl using a Martha Stewart bowl also a shaker and that's the back of it this one I used a Dynamics die of a cell phone I have two sets I have the largest set and the mini set and this mini set I punched it out and put uh, some um, hearts on it and I used my recollections punch to make that also my recollection punch to punch out these flowers and I put a little bling there and it's a shaker and then around the edge I used some bling that I had in my stash and yeah, that's that one and this one is a lamp and a chair die that I have this Marianne designs that's the die set there and I use some foam glitter. Um, it's not paper, but this is the foam here, and it's glittered foam. And I put that for the the seat. It's a glitter shaker. And this was an embellishment I had in my stash. I put some gold bling around the edge of the um, die. And this is the back brown cardstock that I use. And this cardstock is a copper color cardstock that I purchased from Michaels. This embellishment I use the die that's dynamics. It's the eyeglasses. And let's see here. I believe it's here. Okay, that's it there. And I use the larger, the larger one. And 
I etched it with some gold bling. I used um, another die that I have. Let me see. I thought I had it over here, but apparently not. Let's see if I can find it. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I don't see it. So I'm not really sure the name of this die, but um, I used it on a couple of projects that I was making the same day that I was making all these embellishments. And I put a little charm on here of an angel. Okay. Again, Spellbinder's Heart die. And the bow set in this paper line is used by, I use the Our Daily Bread paper line. And that's the back. Sorry. And this purse die is an X cut die. I put a butterfly die that I had um, in my stash. I can't remember who this die is by, but I put it in the middle and cut it out. And use some bling in my stash and use a Martha Stewart butterfly. Edged it with some purple bling and the silver foil paper. My embellishments, I didn't use the foam. I just cut out the cardstock several times and just stacked them and glued them together because it seemed like it came out much better that way. And this one, um, it's a Spellbinder's die. I'm not sure which particular one. But um, as you can see, it's not focusing that well. But this is the back, and this paper is like a full suede that I purchased from Joann's. And let's see. So, these are all my embellishments that I made for Betty, which is Scrap Passion 01 on YouTube, her challenge. All right. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Have a great day. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Bye now.